Hello guys. Oh, there we go, live. Only my internet's, hopefully it's good. Who knows these days? We'll jump on, say hi. I'm pulling you guys up. Um, I always love day challenges because the light's out and it's shining and um, it's fun. I'll be honest, most of my times that I find creative time is at night. So any time that I can create during the day, that's always a treat. All right, I think I can see you guys. We there? How many of you guys have done all the other previous challenges so far? One, this is number four for this week. And just a reminder, so all of the challenges from this last weekend will be due this coming Friday. And you can check out all of the challenges underneath the announcement tab here in the Play to Create with Kiwi Link group, which will link you all to the different posts where you can enter your challenges and of course, see the different sketches or ideas to inspire, kind of get caught up when you get a chance, um, which is fun. All right, looks like you guys are joining me. So I made a quick decision. Well, I showed these last time in my live, these pictures of my father, so I already had them out. So I'm like, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that today and we're gonna create them and of course have some fun giveaways. But um, I was torn between the sketches, so I printed them all. So I need to narrow this down so that we actually know what the challenge is and Amy's not like, which one did you pick, Susan? I don't know, I don't know which one I picked. Um, that's part of the process, I guess. So the struggle is real sometimes. I think this one's really fun. I think mostly what is attractive on this sketch or what attracts me to the sketches, these elements, um, I don't know, maybe I'll do leaves, maybe I won't. He definitely loves outdoors, so um, I don't know, but I'm also using this paper so I need to find a cool saying that maybe um, implies that with him as far as like maybe something lift if I want to use this. But I might just use the blue background here instead. All right. Let's get this started. So grab your guys' stuff. Come and create with me. Get your challenge done at the same time. Take a lunch break. Little craft and learn. <clears throat> creating for lunch is always fun. There's this other sketch too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, maybe I'll have to do a mixture between both. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's Monday. It's Monday. Shh, Diane. Okay, sorry. Sorry. We'll, we'll do some fun giveaways. Are you going to join me again, Abs? Yes. You just came in? Sweet. Can you grab me that other paper right there on the floor? That one of those. The dollar umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. Just. I'm gonna pull one of those back. Just one of them. Yep. Thanks. I have two of these sheets, so I'm kind of torn because I was looking at um, my albums these past weekend because I was cleaning up my albums and. Um, Anyways, so I noticed that a lot of my early years, when I was using up my paper stash, I didn't have a hard time using more busier background. So see, I picked this paper. This is from Simple Stories, but it's super old because I picked handpicked this kit years ago and I just haven't used it. Uh, 2017, so not too old, but old. Anyways, um, I noticed with my albums in the past, I used a lot of these busier patterns, but I've definitely gone towards where I don't use as busy backgrounds, more um, blenders, which is usually, a uh, blenders, well, how we refer to it in the product development, is where you have the same color, but it's two tones in the same color, so you see how this is a lighter blue on top of a dark blue. So, like you can see that instantly. So if I chose these two as my background, it just kind of gets lost. And then this one, I'm gonna have to go get my albums and show them. 
I really noticed that, no, you don't have to run and go get them. She looked at me like, are you kidding me? You want me to go run downstairs and get your albums? Um, yeah, so <laughs> we won't. Just just observational here. You guys can see that. That's why I decided, you know what, I better pull another one out. It's going to drive me crazy, I think, to have such a busy background. This too, see, that kind of takes away from the pictures. Mm -hmm. So even though this is really cute... Um, luckily I have lots of paper of this one. I'm going to pull on these patterns and make these my backgrounds. So that's where we're going to start. All right. Now I got to narrow down the sketch. <laughs> I know. What's so, the template for today? And the... the sketch? Mm -hmm. I don't have it decided yet. <laughs> Which one do you think I should do? Uh. Which one? Hey, Julie, did you put pages away? I did, Emily. I still have a pile of pages to put away. Which one looks more grandpa? More grandpa? For me, I always look at what is attractive to me. I was kind of sharing that. And also what pictures I'm doing. Granted, this only uses three pictures, but I could manipulate that to add more pictures in. So which one do you like? And this one, even though it's girly, we would just change it all Oh, time. yeah, you don't have any leaves. Well, I, I could if I wanted to go that route. Oh, you mean like cut out leaves? Yeah. Mm. Of course. I pulled out white cardstock because the other option, if I chose to not do that, I could do white background and layer it up like that. Which this one, what's fun about this one is that it does have that double layer going on. Should we do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. All right. This is the winner, guys. Amy, if you're still watching, here's the winner. Uh, so you can make a post so that people can enter their challenge. All right. Let's do it. Boom, Let's boom, see how boom. fast we can do it for Are you choosing the sake of my belly. I didn't eat before I started live. <laughs> I can go make you a sandwich. No, I don't want to eat during live. Um, what were you going to say? Uh, are you using the white as background? I thought about it. Do you think so? I mean, I have to see what the... Or, I do have two of these. Hey, Sharon. I guess, what do you guys think? I could do this as our background. With a little touch of burgundy behind it. It's been a while. I, I love to do a double layer. Triple layer. I saw Leslie, I think, do a triple layer. And I was like, man. In other words, like she did where oh. her backgrounds were like that. Where it was triple. But... Sometimes I think if you have the paper, then why not do a double layer? It's fun. It definitely adds a little bit of structure, a little bit more, depending on your look. Um, if you really wanted to conserve your paper, we could cut the inside of this. And I'll show you guys that tip so that maybe you could use this for layers. So burst, yeah. Yeah, because it's going to go into an album anyways. So what do you guys think? Should I do the burgundy popping through the back? I do have two of those. Or... I can do a little bit of white popping through the back. And again, it's going to be this. It does feel like maybe with the patterns and stuff, I mean, it does have like that white feel. I, do I like, like the blue, blue with the red, red background. Yeah. Just a little bit more. This is a lot of... White though. Are these even the same? I think I photo play. They're not. They're not the same brand. Mm -hmm. I told you guys I picked this paper a long time ago. I even have this sheet, which just a red, but it I'm not gonna use the other side because that's a whole different thing. I think I just pulled it in because it has a little bit of that red. So for me, I'm only planning on using this side. I wouldn't use two stripes, like uh -uh. you wouldn't do that. So alright, let me think. If I'm using these patterns, I even like the little bit of street sign look mm -hmm. for him. He's a crazy driver. He, he is a crazy driver. <laughs> this is true. All right. Burgundy, burgundy. You guys loving that? <laughs> He's always going 60 miles in that. Kidding. All right. Let's go with burgundy. Like it. Yeah, just a little showing anyhow. 
So that works. All right, we put the white to the side and, oh, can you get the paper trimmer over there? Yeah, so these pictures were taken back, oh gosh, in August of 2019. He came up to visit with my mom here in Carolina and it was our first time ever being here. So that was really fun and we went down. Um, down. Why am I forgetting the name? Over, where's that little town over? It has like a fun little ice cream shop over there. Uh, starts with a W? Yeah. Why am I forgetting it? You're forgetting it. I want to say Wiley, but that's in Texas. No, that's not it. Uh, oh, this is good. Drive. Waxhaw. Waxhaw. Yes. Waxhaw. Good job. Yes. Down in Waxhaw, uh, Carolina. Um, <laughs> anyways, so... Where do you think my Susan learned how to drive? I did go driving with her the other day. Calm down. <laughs> David does say I'm an awful driver. I think it's not fair. No, she's just a hasty driver. Like I'm not a hasty driver. You you want to get to where you're going. This is true. She's, I am a she's little a safe hasty. driver, though. She's a safe driver. I just, I look forward to when we can all be teleported. <laughs> that, she did kidding. say that, yeah. <laughs> David's like, that is awful. He loves a good road trip. And I am just like, are we there yet? I <laughs> mean, oh. But I also get motion sickness. So that's kind of, not when I drive, but. Okay, fine. I admit it. I'm not, I am a little bit of a hasty driver. So beware yeah. on the road. It's fun to be in the car with Grandpa, though. Where did my other burgundy go? Oh, it's right there. Yes, my dad, whenever he would come watch the kids when they were younger, if we would go out of town, like early days when we did the scrapbook expos and like your kids were young, my, I'd have my parents, you know, I'd, I'd either, they'd either drive up, we were living in Idaho at the time, but, or they would, yeah, they'd come and watch the kids for the weekend or whatever. So if David was going with me, then we'd, Anyways, point being is that they you would go for Sunday drives, right? Yeah, we went to like <laughs> Emmett once and got McDonald's after church once, and it is really nice just to drive around. So my dad's always a big fan of just going and driving, going and exploring. Too funny. Yeah, that was fun. I think that was also the first time I had a Big Mac from McDonald's. <laughs> Your Big Mac from a McDonald's. Big Mac from McDonald's. That's hilarious. Memories. Memories. All right, let's do our first giveaway. Hopefully you guys are listening to all our storytelling because the first question is, where were these pictures taken? What city? Oh, what city? What city was it? First person to comment that I see in the comments on my side. Win an a la carte. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might not know how to spell it. Well, not quite. She's close, though. You were close, Jennifer. <laughs> Willamuck. <laughs> Willamuck. Are you guys just making up things now? <laughs> it was in Carolina, but what city? They're so close. They're just not spelled Maybe it's right. autocorrect. I hate that. I'm going to give it to no, Jennifer. I think that I, the way we say it sounds like that. Yeah. Jennifer, wax off. Wax but off. But it's actually wax off. So it's W-A-X-H-A-W. Yeah. That's how you spell it. But Jennifer. But we might have we might have said it like it sounded like wax off. But either wax way, off. it could even be autocorrect on your guys' things because that happens to me all the time. Jennifer Meyer, Mayor, Mayor, congrats. Yes, H-A-W, Waxa. All right, first giveaway down. Boom, boom. Okay, let's start playing. So you guys probably know this trick, but whatever it's worth, I'm going to share it. So if you're doing a double layer and you want to conserve your paper, you could absolutely trim down your back piece if you wanted it. In this case, I don't think I'm gonna need it because there's nothing on this back that I really care for, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyways. It's like the yellow paper all over it. Um, it's you don't not, care about it. It's not. Hey, I'm gonna trim this down about a half inch on each angle here. 
Man, you have to be very efficient with that. I know. <laughs> but then I also need to make sure that I line this up and get this exact, because you don't want them to be two different mm. things. So unless I was like exact, which I wasn't, mm. then I'm just going to make a mark. Okay. Should we time you on something else today? Ooh, we should time me. Do you have your phone? <laughs> time you with what, though? How fast I can get this page done. Ew. But then I got to... <laughs> All right, so then on this one, what I would recommend, let's see if I can do it with this paper trimmer. Uh, okay, can you get me my old paper trimmer? This one. It took yeah. you a while. Not so much, it won't work. Do you see my old paper trimmer in there? Your orange one? Yeah. It took me a while to figure out that green thing was a paper trimmer. The green thing was a big honking paper trimmer. Yeah, because I was so used to the orange one that... I'm also going to, whenever I have big bases like this, I just take my ink pad and rub it across. That's kind of scratchy. Sorry, guys. That's like a paper trimmer. Um, they have to be in there. I didn't get rid of them. I wonder if the Lacey took them. They have to be somewhere. Oh, you know what? Come look in this drawer over here, will you? You could even go up on the corners a little. See that? If you wanted to go check the bottom drawer. Huh. Check again. Should we do? That's a fun little compass. Fun compass pattern pattern. I think you guys can see it because it's daylight and we can see everything in daylight. Who is that, Abby? Yes, Dakota, it is Abby. I could show that a little bit more if I wanted to. Dakota says hi. Oh, is Dakota on? Yep. Hi Dakota. A Dakota. I can't find it. No, Abigail, not Maddie, Emily. And today is Monday, Emily, not Saturday. <laughs> Is it Emily the one who didn't know last time though either? Hey, is anybody else having a hard time keeping Keep up track? with what days it is, you guys? I can't We're, find your trimmer. Thing. I'm gonna find it. Okay, comment away while I find my paper trimmer, guys. Last person to comment gets a giveaway when I come back, because I don't know what's going on. I don't know, just start listing the alphabet. Oh, I think I found your um, 2018 album. It's right here. Oh, well, there you I go. I knew it was up here. I'm going to have two, probably. Huh. We're going to have to remember it's there. Oof. Well. Why can't you use your hunk hunky green one? Because the blade doesn't come up. It, 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 you can't accomplish it. Okay. All right. And the person's comment I see is Susan Cooper, hey. Susan Cooper, hey, was the last comment that I saw. Susan, first off, you have a great name. Second, <laughs> congrats. Email jen at kiwilane.com to claim an a la carte of your choosing. So, so far we have Jennifer Mayer and Susan Cooper, hey. 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 Um, both of your winners. Congrats. Oh, good, Jennifer. Played outside for a bit. I never win anything. Oh, Coda. Oh, Coda. <laughs> soon, soon. Stay, stay tuned. Many more giveaways. Okay, guys, so forget the idea. I can't find my other blade. The whole point, I'm sure you guys are aware of, you take it, you cut out a little square, keep a base, and then you just can adhere this on, and then you can use that square piece for something else if you need it. This is driving me crazy. Where is my paper trimmer? Uh, my I have like three of the other like cheaper ones because I kept buying one thinking that it was gonna fix the blade issue. And then finally I just bought this one because I was tired of my blade popping off. And uh, I thought it was amusing. Amusing when my blade would just pop off? Yeah. This is so crazy. Oh, go, see if, go see if Lacey has my blade. <laughs> I don't know if she would. Maddie might. She was making a letter for one of her friends. Okay, go see if someone took... I have, like, seriously, three of them. Three of them, guys. Um, 
Okay, let's start the rest of the process and we'll come back to that eventually. Because who knows, maybe I do want a little bit of this burgundy pulled to the front. So we might want to take advantage of that. Um, just have Abby cut the inside. I could. I could, but like once my mind gets stuck on something like where is the blade, my paper trimmer, I just, yeah, it's like a squirrel. I can't focus on anything else. All right, pictures it is. So I have all of these adorable pictures of my father just really capturing who he is. Um, I did take the third roll as far as picture taking and I offsetted him on the picture to kind of get a little bit of that background. So a little photo tip there. So instead of taking pictures necessarily straight on, you might wanna make sure to uh, place your object on one side of your pictures. So you'll see that happening kind of on these things. <laughs> I love that smile. I had to snap so fast, you guys. Taking pictures of my dad is like taking pictures of a two-year-old. You better snap really, really fast because his patience as far as pictures, I don't know if it's a generation or what, it's very slim, so you better snap really fast because you only have a very small window to capture those pictures. David had it when you took your light. Everybody takes all my stuff. All of them. So, <laughs> let it go, let it go. Yes, I've let it go. All right, so lots of fun pictures. Um, his tickle thumb going on there, muscle, muscles, hmm. he's a pretty strong guy, emotionally and physically. So now I get to narrow this down. So right off the bat, if I'm going to be using this as my springboard, I am going to need to add more pictures to my overall sketch. No luck, huh? Yep. It's okay. <laughs> Like it doesn't want to be found or something. It doesn't. It doesn't want to be found. Who knows? Should we have a moment of silence? They said let it go. A moment of silence for my old paper trimmers. They have officially been Let waiting. it go? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, Mom. Ah, ah. It's like your scissors all over again. I know. All your sharp objects. <laughs> okay, so can you guys see that sketch? Yeah? So I'm going to kind of place this behind to give me a visual to start making some decision making here. Kind of same concept. I think I'm going to do something like that. I do want that to be going all the way across. Let's see. Oh, she says use a ruler and craft knife. I could. There's many other ways I could do it. It's just, I want to know where my paper trimmer is. <laughs> I'm sure it'll show up someday. <laughs> right when I'm done with the live, it will show up. So it looks like this one, yeah, I do like that. I like the blues touching there. I think you did that for our 4th of July um, layout once. I did. So Why do I remember that? If I'm gonna have the blues touch, I don't know. I think it's because of the amount of times I've been through your albums. Maybe. Past couple of months. Then I want to trim off a little bit more off of this, the bottom base. Because I want a little bit more of that burgundy to show and have it actually balanced out. I do love this paper trim. It, it is sharp. Sharp. Oh. Cuts through two of those layers. Why and is so why is there so much hair? Because you had four daughters. I did. I did have four There's daughters. Hair everywhere. Okay. I think I'm also going to curve the corners. I'm going to go ahead and do that. How are you going to do that? With a little corner punch. Mm. And, uh, or you can, if you don't have a corner punch, then you could just use your scissors and trim those corners. Yeah. Oh. 
exactness. All right. Love it. Maybe it's <laughs> best Susan doesn't have anything sharp. Uh, Dakota, are you supposed to be working right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, guys. I'm going to use my scissors for whatever it's worth before we get too started. And I'll just do a messy cut. It doesn't even have to be exact. Just so if I choose to use any of this pattern for an accessory, I can. Which who knows? It might come in handy. Really cool paper. It is a fun little. I like plaids though. Bye. Plaids and polka dots. We have a lot of plaid and polka dot in this house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and then, then I'm just going to add a little adhesive to just the edges of this top layer. And I do want my side to link where the two go. There we go. Should I do the other one? Probably. I don't know what I'll need it for, but... Oh, nose. Never have enough paper. Never gonna have enough paper. That's also something Grab Boss says. What? It's better to have more than less. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> My dad is like the worst at grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, it's so stressful. <laughs> I think he's pretty good at it. Yeah, he's like, if we need two, then we need seven. <laughs> I'm like, no dad, we only need two of those. No, we need seven of those. I'm like, no, really, the recipe only calls for two, and he's like, then get seven. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously. But I, I mean, if we actually think about it, having more is better than less. Well, <laughs> if you don't need seven lemon, lemons, you don't get seven lemons. <laughs> like, you never know. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh. You know, Karen, we've talked about doing larger mats. Yeah, so that I was just like to play to create need to see it first. Yes, it would be really handy. We'll see, because a lot of our, I think a lot of people want the strips back because they see how awesome they are, but we, um, yeah. The reason we discontinued or retired them is because they're not the top sellers. Mm. Actually, our photo sets are among the top sellers. Um, photo mats, they come in handy. I don't think they're as popular as the photo sets. So. Oh, Daisy, I'm so sorry you've been sick. Yes, Daisy, underneath... Um, Go underneath the announcements here in the group. You'll see a little tab called Announcements, Daisy. And there's a PDF with all of the links. There's two tabs. Um, you'll look down at the bottom of the Google Drive and there's two tabs from the first week and all the links are there and from the second week. And now we're on to the third week. So you should be able to see all of them, Daisy. Hopefully it gets you, gets you going and gets you creating and feeling a little bit better. Oh. No fun. What do you what do you like to eat when you're sick though? Cause I think in our family we all I I don't know if I'm the only one who noticed, but when we're sick, there's always like specific things like like orange juice, at least for me, and peanut butter M and M's. The whole family when people are sick, everyone wants M and M's. Really? Yeah, I noticed like with you and with me. And I, Dad, I we all when we're sick, we always get peanut butter and M&M's. I haven't been sick. That's when I'm creating, when it's my snack. Like okay, when you're sick. No, no, I'm not it. sick that much. No, you're not. I get peanut butter and M&M's way more than I am sick. True, but the rest <laughs> of us. Orange juice and peanut butter m and M's. Maybe I only share with you guys my peanut M&M's when I feel bad if you're sick. <laughs> maybe that. I it. guess so, maybe. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do two pictures there to kind of condense that. So I'm going to do those two pictures. I'm going to come over here on the other side. So here is my dilemma. Oh, there's one horizontal. 
cool. Cool dad. Hmm. Look at all. Um, it reminds me of the, the poem that you did for dad, uh, David, our dad, mm -hmm. about wrinkles on the face. I actually have that over there. I mean to scrapbook it. I haven't yet. It's somewhere. Do you want to get it? No. Right over there in that pile. You can read it to everybody. I don't want to read it out loud. I have the worst reading voice. No, you don't. I do. Lies. I've gotten better since I, since now I have a. Uh, it's in my to do box. The to do. Yeah, it's you a have project. A to do box. Yeah, everything's a to do project. <laughs> I'm with you. It is. <laughs> I have certain ones that I'm like, oh, I want to do that one, and then I just don't get to it yet. <laughs> okay, that will work. I'm going to have to get really creative here to add all these pictures. Maybe this sketch was not the best one. Abby. Mm -hmm. I didn't choose it. You nope, chose not it. That. Oh, no, nope, that's all the wedding pictures that still have to be finished. You that's said a, box. That's another project. <laughs> Where's the to-do box? Look inside of that album. See if it's... This album? I don't know. I don't know where anything is in this room these days. I thought it was a good idea. Did you print out my edited version at least? No, I have to get to that. That's why I probably I haven't scrapbooked it yet. Oh, what happened to the video audio? Am I still live? Huh, hold on guys. Something's Now functioning here. So you didn't print out my edited version. Okay. Hold on. Hmm. I can yeah. just read it off my phone. Okay, there you go. And then send it to me so I have the right version. Well, I think you texted me once, like, well, I think I was with Emma. This was happening to... To Brandy the other day, the desktop version kept going down. Mm. Interesting. Okay, I'm still here. I'm back. Well, I don't know why it keeps going down on my desktop. All right. I want to start cutting out the paper. What did I call it? What did what call it? The poem. Wrinkles. Wrinkles. I don't know. I just guessed. Or happy birthday. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe we just need a plate to create our own because <laughs> this sketch isn't really working for me. Okay, so I'm gonna do some kind of strips along the edge here. Actually, they're tags, which is really fun. I love the tags, but I'm gonna try to combine, um, I don't know, maybe some tags with strips just to kind of give us that visual. And we can do even this kind of tag, maybe with this kind of tag. But I'm gonna do the strip just so I can have that visual, kind of like what Karen was talking about. Did you find it? No, but I just got my grade for my business project. And did you pass? A hundred out of hundred. Well, good job. All that worry for nothing. Okay, virtual high five, because I just got an A on my business project that I've been stressing out for the past 13 weeks. Woohoo! Hearts, hearts, lives, lives. <laughs> Are you officially into spring break now? No, I have one more week, which is this week, but it's not like heavy work. It's gotcha. mostly just like um, surveys and evaluations. Gotcha. So technically, yes. Technically, yes. So. Oh, the weight just left my shoulder. But it sucks that we only get one week. Ugh. Well, technically two weeks, including this week. Good job. Oh, I just realized you, you've you been cruising. I, what do you mean, what have I been cruising? I just looked down and I noticed all the... I'm going to use Paisley again. I think we used it on our last layout. I really like Paisley, you guys. I like Paisley what, 3A3B because of how thin and straight of a look it has. <laughs> so I don't want to do any kind of scallop look. Now you might choose to do a scallop look. You might even choose to do a fall feel because this is really, really cute. The way that it is. What? Abby, you are the bomb duty. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. She is pretty great. She is pretty great. All right, anybody have theirs designed yet? I actually love that about the last sketch we did. How I did one more feminine and then you guys did one like a Christmas layout. One of you guys did like a tropical layout. And that's so much fun because of course you kind of change that paper and the look changes as well. So I'm just kind of grabbing some other tinies, kind of playing around with that. Kind of an accessory embellishment do you think I should do? Should I pull in some, any opinions? Hmm. Should I do a rocket? He's out of this world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because he's out of this world. And honestly, you don't need to add many embellishments. Because um, the paper speaks a lot for itself, and so does the paper, um, depending on what project you're working on. I'm not probably going to be pulling on the hot air balloons, but I do love the hot air balloon. It's so cute. <laughs> It is pretty cute. <laughs> it's our gout. And you can do a lot with it with the cards, too. Yeah. It's very versatile. Yeah, as far as the size for mm -hmm. layouts or cards or mm -hmm. whatever else floats your boat. And then there's also Tiny, Tiny Explorer. Whoops. Not those ones. Not those ones. Mom, we love all of the templates. The Explorer has some fun elements in it. Kind the of, arrows. Yeah, fun. like arrows and dragonfly, a gear. Lots of good go-to ones. And smaller, too, because mm -hmm. I think a lot of my page is going to be covered with my photos, which is great. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me get back to my pictures here. Um... You are my world. The globe, cute. Scenic drive, ooh, take the scenic route. Maybe I could say that, take the scenic route. Take the scenic route. It's always about scenic routes and drives. That could be cute. Mm -hmm. um, come thing with directions, what does that mean, Emily? Come thing with directions. Exploring with dad. Oh, I like that too. Mm. Exploring with dad. Are you using all the pictures? I'm trying. Well, let me see how many do you have. I have those four. And let's see. He has the best smile. <laughs> he has a, what's a camera? Oh, what's a camera? <laughs> <laughs> so I got that down to four pictures, but I'm really feeling like I need more pictures. So maybe I'll go more to the left here. And then, yes, I'll have to do a strip all the way across. But that way I can get maybe another picture in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, using up the space. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut a background drop for these pictures at this point. I'm gonna start playing and seeing what we can get out of those. I got a mess. I had a mess of a mess of a mess. Yeah, but you work best in chaos. Do I? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Should I do another plaid for the background? Where are my pictures? So this is exactly what the pictures are going to go on top of. So that one or... Hmm. It takes away from the pictures, huh? Yeah. And or... I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for polka dots too. Or there is this a little bit more red. Not quite as burgundy. It's a little bit more red than our. Right, but I think you should have something that pops since this is so like. 
interesting monotone yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. Let's get lost together. I like the stripes. You like the stripes? That one. Or the no, um, the, the, the plaid. What do you mean? The, the green plaid. That this one? Yeah, beginning one. What do you guys think? Throw some pattern in there. She likes the stripes, the, like dots, the dots, red. <laughs> We're all over. I kind of like the polka dots. I like the lightness of it. Mm -hmm. Like, look how the pictures, like, pop off of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, on average, I'm doing about, this is about five and a half inches. So, what I'm going to do is just cut two of those down. Two. Oh, we'll just do five and a half. So, cut two, five and a half, which pretty much is going to take up the whole sheet. We need another giveaway, Ab. What you got? What you got? What you got? What do I got? Um... What months did my parents come and visit me this last year? Ooh. What month Ooh. did my parents come and visit me last year? First person to comment. I do love polka dots. It's ridiculous how much I love polka dots. <laughs> Carmina, August. Yay. Carmina. So my dad's birthday is August 15th and mine is August 6th. So I was uh -huh. like, dad, come out for August. It was my birthday gift to myself. And I made him a cake. It was fun. We sang happy birthday to him. Oh. I'm trying to get Carmina's name here. All right. Carmina, email jen at kiwilane.com. Okay. Got you noted. You're I'm down. Your prize. And, yeah. Any other August babies out there? Abby's an August baby. Well, yeah. We're me, you, Grandpa, and Maddie are all August babies. Yeah. I guess you share your same birthday as Madison, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not a Leo, right? No, I'm a Virgo. Yeah, because your birthday's at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. August babies. March, April, April. Oh, so everyone's had birthdays here soon. Like Maybe, last I month think and they this might month. be still guessing. Huh? Oh, Sharon's an August baby. So is Carmina. August 19th. Oh, they're triplets. triplets. I did not know that about you, Carmina. That's like a whole new world of being twins. Like, yeah. that's a whole nother layer. Could you imagine being a triplet? No. Well, a little bit. I mean, sometimes I forget that Riley wasn't like, I don't know. Sometimes I, I feels like we're triplets, like me, Maddie, and Riley, because we're always together. Yeah. But then sometimes I remember that we're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I go to the store or something with them in the past, when we went to the stores, <laughs> everyone's like, are you triplets? <laughs> right. They always ask, are you triplets? How much did I trim off there? Either that or me or Maddie and Riley were twins. Inch and but, a half. But Riley just got uh, cut her hair, so now she has bangs like me. This is true. And so now any time I walk into the kitchen, I'm either, people think I'm Riley. In this family. Yeah. See, I'm never myself. When I walk into a room, people either think I'm Lacey because we're like the same height, or I'm Riley because of the bangs. I'm never myself, and I don't know if I should feel offended or not. <laughs> Because people always, like, look up and they're like, oh, I thought you were Riley. <laughs> like, the other day, like, I walked in the kitchen and Lacey was so surprised. Or in the other day, I walked in the kitchen and mm -hmm. Riley was like, oh, I thought you were Lacey. <laughs> I'm like, can someone just kind of walk in a room and be like, and someone would be like, oh, Abby. It's Abby. It's Abby. Now, every time you walk in a room, I'm going to be like, it's Abby. It's Abby. I'm going to make an announcement. Every time now. See, it's fine, like, with Maddie, because I understand when I walk in a room and people are like, oh, Maddie, oh, wait, no, Abby. But when it's Riley or Lacey, I'm like, what in the world? But. Oh, they always get upset because I always get their names mixed up. But what? Oh, it's understandable. It's how it is. 
It takes you a minute. My sister and I, two girls, one boy, on the triplets. And they have the wow. same thing. Wow. See? All right. Now I got to get my pictures back into place. So that was basically a ten and a half strip by five and a half is what I ended up doing on that. Okay. Um, if that's helpful at all to know those measurements. <laughs> And then as far as my pictures going, I decided to do one there. And I'm gonna do correct. And I'm pretty sure I did something like that over here. So can't uh, wait to uh, be uh, his age. Yeah? Yeah, I was telling Dad the other day because he just turned forty. Uh-huh. Where I can't wait to be like older. Because I can't wait to have, like, wrinkles. Stop it. But also, like... She doesn't know what she's talking about, guys. I it's do, okay. though. I do. I can't wait to be 70 years old. Oh, did you find your thing? Are what you going to read it for us? No. <laughs> you found it, didn't you? I did. Okay, so read it to <laughs> And us. I reread it, and I was editing it in my mind. <laughs> Give it to me. I'll read it. No, you don't read it well either. So she wrote this poem because she loves David's wrinkles. Last year for his birthday, she gave it was it a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago. Um, they are all you because you're the oldest Emily says. <laughs> Not a good thing. All right, read it to us. Let me hear it. It's been a while since I've heard it. Uh, you got this. <clears throat> no judging. <laughs> no judging. I, I wrote this a couple of years ago and I've improved. Just last my, year. I, I, no, it was a couple like two years ago, three years ago. I'm pretty sure it was only last year, sweetie. Mm -hmm. See, years are already passing you I by. I know. And see, maybe that's good. <laughs> um, see, she says, please, please give us a reason to love our wrinkles. Ah. Uh, okay. I should probably rewrite this, though. It's okay. It's just... You can't do that. Stop it. You can't judge your art that way. Ah! Ah! Oh. Okay. I often wonder, as I sit in the silence of our journey, about the wrinkles around your eyes. How curious of a thought, I know, but for some reason, I find them so beautiful. They are much more handsome on your face because they are your story. The story you have not told. The story I hear in the silence of our journey. The lines in between, on the edges of your eyes, those tell me how often you have smiled. About the dumbest things, the saddest things, about the things I have not come to know. They tell of your youth before the UIC now, about the roots of the forest you walked long ago. How they connect to the roots from your shiny blue eyes. How those eyes have watered those roots throughout the storms that have rocked you to and fro. They connect the you of past to the you I have come to love and know. I wonder, too, if one of those wrinkles is reserved just for me, if I had made a special print in your story, whether happy or sad, maybe somewhere in between. But I know each wrinkle is for each sacrifice my father has made. Oh, how grateful I am for his wrinkles, a confession of his love for me. That's it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love wrinkles, guys. They do share a lot. I share a lot of stories. My grandpa's. You see his smiling and his wrinkles around his eyes. Do you mean you have a lot oh, of this, smiles? It means, yeah, they smiled a lot. Like this one. <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. That smile on his face. It's turning out really great so far. Yeah. Hmm. I couldn't see that line. Where I marked it. All right. Pictures done. Added. Bang. Now we can get to the embellishing part. And more giveaways. Are you thinking about that, Abs? Uh, I got one. You got one? Yeah. Okay. When Grandpa and Grandma drove us down to Emmett, what was the thing I ordered from McDonald's? For the first time. For the first time. Anyone? 
Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't need it now because uh, Emily got it. Emily, Big Mac. <laughs> Yay, Emily. Yeah, the Big Mac. I don't, Riley has this thing with McDonald's now. So every time we like go, I freak out a little bit inside. <laughs> yeah, they were just educated. That's it. <laughs> they were just educated educational system mm. they did the study at you know school where they bought one hamburger from each place to see how and then she came home from school and she's like nope 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 i was like apparently they don't mold <laughs> if you love mcdonald's to all the to their own yeah i still eat it so <laughs> it's not my favorite mm. no it's my favorite what's not your favorite big mac or this layout McDonald's, ah. if we're going to be honest. <laughs> but, no, my favorite restaurant is Panera. I love Panera so freaking much. I could eat Panera often. Boy, we could start talking about food. I'm hungry. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant, I'm Mom? I'm hungry. What's your favorite restaurant? Um, you do like Olive Garden. I do. I think it's a still, like, I've loved it when I was a kid. And I love it now. It's like my all-time favorite. Too bad it's shut down. So, I told you, lucky you guys, I have double sheets of this paper because I'm going to need it. Alright. Okay, I'm going to cut this other little layer. Where's our sketch? Do you know where our sketch is? Our original sketch? I think I will go get a Big Mac today. <laughs> I don't know if ours has three sizes of... Big I don't think mess. ours has three sizes. I really don't know. I haven't noticed much. Okay, so on this strip, I'm, I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to go the three inch at the bottom and the two inch. Did you find the... No, this is not the one oh. using. Okay, here it is. It's actually a big, bigger piece. Mm -hmm. See this one behind? It like goes big, wide. Mm -hmm. Wide and long. Yeah. Let me see if I can find, just to help me out from perspective. Uh, like a banner? Yeah. Let me see if I can find my other. Here in my stash. Hmm, there it is. Yeah, we could do this wide. Isn't all a garden shut down because of quarantine? Um. Because now I, I really want Zupa to come. I know. They were to sending out a thing saying they'll deliver, but I think they might have. Most restaurants now have officially shut down. I don't know. I feel I like crying now. Supa Toscana. I do love Supa Toscana. I also like their minestrone and their breadsticks for crying out loud. Just everything. <laughs> if you give me a breadstick, I don't care. It's bread. <laughs> I will eat it. <laughs> so this is three and three fourths. I have strips and I'm cutting two because we'll have to narrow it down as well. And I'm going to take this festive and trim off the ends really fast. I think it'll go straight to the edge, huh? Mm. Now, if you don't have this one, because this is from April's Kiwi Club Kit, of course you can just cut a strip and can do yeah measure the middle i would probably make a point right there if you are ocd mm. and um i don't know why it keeps going away mm. anyways so that you can do that trim off the end but this way i don't have to think about it i don't have to measure it's kind of great <laughs> <laughs> but if you have to measure then of course you can you can adjust it and manipulate it easy enough. Specifically on this design, it's easy enough to manipulate that. Do you want to ink? Yes. I am the ink master. There you go. I'll get another one out. We'll get two inkers going at the same time. Mass production. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my screen keeps disappearing, guys. I don't know what's going on. The live stream is still going, though. Yeah, my phone's still going. It's just for some reason this Facebook is having a hard time. 
Oh, I'm so excited to see all these patterns come together. That's my favorite part. Well, it's all my favorite part, but <laughs> it's seriously, I kind of mentioned that on um, Brandy, one of our creative partners who went live the other day and I said, you know, I've come to really just embrace the starting phase and the starting phasing being that, you know, I, you're kind of flustered. You're kind of like, well, I don't know what to do, but it all comes together. So see, and that's just like the creative process anyway. Cause yeah. like me with my writing, starting is the worst part. It's and I like think, chaos. Well, I think the important thing to note there is that that's normal. I think sometimes we're like, oh man, I just, it must be me or, you know, you just kind of push through that and you allow yourself the space because that is normal. No one is excluded from the beginning step. Nobody is excluded from it. But it's also just a great time to, to learn. Yeah, just discover, to discover and to play. Yeah. That's what play is. Play is a discovery, explore, atmosphere which my dad is a yeah. beautiful example of the core value of play because he loves to discover he loves to play we often look at like the starting phase like something we have to get over like yeah. a hurdle right instead of just something to experience right you can go through because if you give it a chance a that stage a chance to learn from I bet you 100% you'll learn a lot from it if you actually go through it instead of constantly trying to overcome it. Just accept it instead yeah. of, like, fight it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you'll learn a lot about the creative process or life in general. She's so wise, guys. I know. She's seriously wise. <laughs> Only because you're my mom. Right. <sighs> hey, Maddie, you're home? Hey, yeah, that was early. I did not water your sprout. <laughs> Come here. Why are you doing something? We're live. live. Oh. Hi, live. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, I love Grandpa so much. <laughs> That's pretty great pictures of him, huh? He's a character. <laughs> He's a character. <laughs> no comment. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Eli's bouncing around out there. Emily says hi, Maddie. Hey, Emily. All right, giveaway time. Woo! It's <sighs> the best part of the lives, right? My mind's going blank again. I know, I need to embrace the giveaways. <laughs> <clears throat> Maddie left without telling me what she needed. Oh. Silly sister. Uh... Should I do this pattern? Or should I do... I think we should do the speed limit and stuff, right? Yeah, I think it's a good paper. Really pick up on the stories that I to mm -hmm. told about him. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cut two inches strips. Oh. Is anybody oh. else creating their sketch at the same time as watching? I'm just curious. If so, what theme are you guys doing right now? As far as memories go, are you doing... Like your daughters, are you doing like Thanksgiving? Okay. Was there um, a specific theme for this? Because a Thanksgiving theme would be so cute for this. No, yeah. just the sketch overall. Mm. It's kind of altering a little, but that's the nature of sketches. <laughs> you just use them as a springboard. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any stickers from an old kit that are travel related. If I'm going to pull on the... What was the what was the um, title I did? Uh, scenic route with dad, exploring with dad. Scenic um, route with dad. Uh, taking the long way home. We didn't take it, but we were exploring. Uh, I went and showed him the wax saw, and that was fun. Uh, oh, by the way, my dad's name is Stephen. Steven. That is his first name. I remember because the, you know, like the Steven hot chocolate. Uh huh. Every time we got that, I always was reminded of him. That's thought of him. Steven hot chocolate. My dad is also very adamant that when you buy syrup, that you have to buy the, um, uh, the lady one. <laughs> Why am I spacing the name? I don't know, but it's in the shape of a lady with like the yellow cap. Emily, help us out. <laughs> 
What is that syrup's name? He, like, gets so offended if you don't buy that syrup. <laughs> if you buy, like, the cheap brands, he's like, why? And I'm like, Dad, it's just syrup. It's just syrup. <laughs> he's like, no. But <clears throat> he does make the best pancakes ever. Ever. I try to duplicate what he makes, and I can never do it. And it's always the best at, like, when we're camping. Ugh. Well, yeah, he taught me that if you put, you know, like, the vegetable... Um, um, shortening. Shortening on. Yeah. Before it will make them fluffy. No, it so. makes them a little crispy. Mm -hmm. Butter's worth. That's it. Butter worth, yeah. He, uh... He's pretty judgmental. Towards... <laughs> towards so them. if you ever get a chance to talk him <laughs> and you buy it syrup other than Mrs. Butterworth, do not tell him. <laughs> he's pretty judgmental towards the syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, giveaway. <clears throat> um, the internet can't keep up with everything. I'm so uh, grateful for the internet. Could you guys imagine? All right. Cute. It's a coming. It's a coming. Trying to decide on this pattern. It's a little busy. Mm hmm. Do you think it's a little busy? I could pull it in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Some of these patterns sometimes. Just wish they had a little bit more blenders, but I put the kit together, like I said, years ago. <laughs> it's fun to finally use this paper, though. I've been holding on to it for quite a bit. Just trying to utilize it, which is great, using up your scraps of paper, your paper stash. Um, yeah. So... I just don't want to take it away from the pictures. I think that's my biggest judgment call when it comes to pattern papers mm -hmm. is to definitely make sure that you are using the right patterns because of course my pattern, my pictures are seriously still very important to me. So I want to make sure they're shining. They're the focal point. Yeah, that I'm just complimenting my pictures. But. Okay. On different things. He's a silly guy. All right, so I'm thinking on title. Exploring with Dad. Scenic route with Dad. I'll have to add journaling for sure. So I guess maybe I should get some journaling out and play around. Right, because you're now using a lot of space, so I don't know where you're going to put the yeah. journaling. This one had journaling right here mm -hmm. on the, you know, sketch. Guys, this is lagging. Lagging, lagging. Seriously, I just, right now it draws you to the picture. Perfect. Good. I just broke it up with some of that red. I'm yeah, thinking the red maybe helps. even another piece of red maybe underneath here. Let me get a visual. Do you know what I mean? Mm hmm. I like that. All right. Now I need a little bit of extra embellishments. And. Well, I have a writing group meeting at like five. I have to go. Can you open that drawer and see if there's any. Bottom one? The middle one. And see if there's any stickers or anything that's like travel related. Stickers? There's. Watch the sunrise, take a hike. Here's some travel ones. Always take the scenic route. That's it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. A perfecto. Uh, discover new places. Let's go. It's time for an adventure. So when I play with stickers, I always put them on a background sheet. 
because personally, I'll probably pop them up with pop-up anyways. So, because I don't like the flat look of stickers, mm. it feels very flat. Just depends, I guess, what you're working with, but for me, that's what I'll do. And it allows me to also play around with it for a moment to kind of play. To play, play, play. Play, play. play. Do you guys have tribal notes, discover new places. Do you have green? Oh, that's a little, little green, but not uh, green. Live life today. It's kind of cute. A journey. It's time to take an adventure. That one's cute. You see that other one. It's so fun to experience something new. We're enjoying every moment. There's a little green in here. I could pull. Yeah. Well, if we actually pulled in the strip, this pattern, we didn't pull lots of that into it. So. Hmm. I'm going to cut a little piece out from the top there. <laughs> Adventures with Steve. <laughs> Sounds like a show. <laughs> Adventures with Steve. <laughs> I don't think I've ever called my dad Steve before. Mm -mm. I'm trying to think if I've ever even heard anybody else call him Steve. Maybe. Yeah, that's weird because usually when you have like Deb or Deborah, like Debbie mm -hmm. or Sue, I've been called Sue before. I've never heard anyone call you Sue. Jimmy calls me Sue. Yeah, people have called me Sue before. Jimmy? And other people. See, I've heard like people call Dad Dave. But, like, I'm trying to think if I've ever heard someone say Steve. I'm trying to think if his mother yells at him. <laughs> Steve. His mother's not much of a joker. <laughs> Mm. And my dad's like so sarcastic and like <laughs> such a joker. It's kind of fun to see him tease her. Yeah. Uh, Wendy doesn't have sound. Oh, Wendy, maybe it's, it's T and C question mark exclamation mark. Oh, Linda, I hope he he gets a job. That would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> All right. So maybe a little red up there too. I'm kind of liking this little extra pop of red. We're almost there. Look at this. I know. It definitely, I don't know if it's like the time of day we're doing it. Yeah, more awake and more alert. And we're doing it much faster. <laughs> and we're doing it much faster. Oh, you were gonna time me on something. Oh, yes. Oh yes. I don't know what to have you tie me on though. I'm trying to think, little Brad or something right there is gonna be really cute. Okay, I have all these other stickers. I guess I can try to to implement them. Um, you forgot that I was live right now. <laughs> Sorry, got a call. I don't know if I put my thing on do not disturb. Um, I'm trying to think if orange works. It does not now work, right? There's a little orange in that polka dot. I really loved that polka dot. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be so biased. But you are. But I am. I'm like thinking I need a little bit more shining through somewhere. A little bit more shining through. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna add a couple embellishments and then um, we could do a couple things right here to mimic this and then a little journaling patch. Mm -hmm. um, where are my journaling things? I 
All right, guys. Question. It's an easy one. Is it though? It is. Is it? It is. It's an easy one. What's the question? Okay, first person to comment. What is my dad's name? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I just said it was going to be easy. His full name. Is it? Got me nervous now. No, it's, mm -hmm. it's going. Uh, Kristen easy. Turner. Oh, I Daisy think Dot. Yep, no, wait. Yeah, Kristen Dot it. Kristen. Sorry, guys. Name is Steven. Steven. It's actually a P H E N. Yeah, but they didn't know that. I know, but it's still the same. I want. Kristen, yay! All right, you guys liking that journaling? That's a little too big. That's not gonna work. I'm kind of liking that one. Isn't that cute? It's kind of cute. I like that one too. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> There's also a little. You could do double and double journaling somewhere. Yeah, that'd be fun. Put some comments on both sides. Yeah. Thinking so. I don't know. I might not do much embellishing. Do a little journaling. A little scenic route. Let's see. Where did Tiny Explorer go? Did you not get that out? Tiny Explorer? Yeah. Uh, there's some. Uh, you have templates all over. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got them all over, Mom. I was about to point the exact location, then I realized they're everywhere. They're everywhere. There. Found it. Woohoo! I love the dang hot air balloon, but I didn't really use the hot air balloon paper, so it doesn't really make sense. I'm actually going to pull out Journey. Let's see what that looks like. A Journey, where art thou? Journey, I believe, has been retired. So... Oh, that one makes sense, though. Yeah, I do like a, um, my, my, my thoughts are to do like a, um, embellished focal point here, mm -hmm. where I have, you know, where did the other, kind of a cluster of things that are, kind of bring a little bit of a focus to things. Kind of cute. Now I gotta see if I have enough paper patterns <laughs> to accommodate <laughs> to this. Do all of this. This is why. Uh, well, you can reuse one of these. I, I can. Cut out. So busy though. The patterns are all so busy. I need like blenders. Do you want to use brown? Another. Mm -hmm. No bread. I'll clean up later. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the little journey arrow go? Did I lose that piece? This one? No, that's the... Oh, yeah, that is the journey. The tiny explorer arrow. Can uh, you see that somewhere? You just you put it right there. No, there's another one. You see that little one? Look, right here. That one. Oh. I don't know where that one went. Oh, we're off page here, guys. I don't even notice that. What? There's the road sign that matches the sign in Tiny Travel. Oh, there is that tinier one, too. That's right. Let me see if I can find Tiny Travel. Oh, Abby, I think Maddie took my Tiny Travel since. <laughs> She was working on her travel book. <laughs> did she steal them? I don't, I don't think she took them to your room. I think she did it in here. Oh, well then, I don't know where she put it. In the tiny stuff. Uh, I know she was using it because she was working on her little travel book. And 
Now I don't know where it went. Hmm. Kids, right? Felisa, you're done? Way to go. She made the layout already using the thing. I don't care that I'm wearing the black shirt. <laughs> you're wearing the cat on your black shirt. Mm -hmm. The bigger than the She's so sweet. She's so cute. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking too much. Maybe you need to pet the cat. Maybe I need to pet the cat. Okay, I'm going to do another pattern down here. And then... <clears throat> she saw a cup. She what? She saw the cup on the floor and thought, When you're the winners from last week announced. Those will be announced this evening, Julie. So we'll do all the entry deadlines by Friday. So it was last Friday. And then um, I believe Jen is working on gathering all of those. And so she, we'll announce those this evening. I don't mind with anything. Why am I like not allowed to like enter the challenges? Yeah. No. Why? Because of the inside. Because <laughs> if people think that you got like special treatment. Yeah. Sorry. I'll make an alias. <laughs> <laughs> you should take one of these sketches though. It's kind of a fun little alternative that you can definitely make your variation on something. I have tons of pictures of you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get your m &Ms. What? <laughs> uh, they're saying that you're slowing. I need to go get your m &Ms. I am slowing down, you're right guys. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> hey, I did get a little... I'm more in tune. I'm feeling a little more into the, the moment here. I like that extra pop. Do you like that extra pop? I, I like do. that extra pop. I like how you split it too. Yeah. All right, now I just gotta figure out this little focal point with the very little bit of paper that I have. I have paper, you it's have just, stripes. I know, I but I can't use that pattern. You can, can use it up here. I can the use that. Or the arrow. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look for other patterns. It may be a green. See if we have any of this green. Like a light green? Yeah, because the things that are on the other sides of these are very limiting and don't work. Um, no, yeah. no, too bright. Here, this should give you a thing to judge off of. You can look over on the left side under carved stock. Left I just side? need something else, more, not patterns, but like solids. Cause it's just getting too busy for my, just too busy. I could do white paper for this sign. More plaid. More plaid. This one has like a brush. Sort of. It's a little bit darker, but. I don't know. Maybe that's weird to pull in all of a sudden a blue or a green. Mm. So now on the green? See if there's a blue. Uh, blue? Like a dark or light? Um, light. Yeah. Do you already have a dark background? Yeah. Like that dark, that light grayish blue. This. It's a little blue blue. My you dad's favorite color is blue. Is everybody's guy's favorite color blue? Dad's favorite color. I know, dad's favorite color. My dad. Your dad. My <laughs> dad. Oh, all these dads are getting mixed up. Thanks, Sandy. Welcome. As Riley would say, welcome to the party. There's like this woody. Oh, yeah. I like this color. Is this cranberry? That's like the same color we have, but we don't need more of it. It's so pretty though. I 
need something to make this stand out without blending. I can try this blue you gave me. Okay. I'm going to try white and see if it's too white. We we'll shall see. Alright. She got this blue. What do you guys think? Oh, it doesn't look bad. I mean, you're like, yeah, if you layer it right. Yeah, if you layer it right. You want to keep Natalie. It? Her dad's favorite color was orange. I actually have a hard time picking a favorite color. You're like Riley, or is Riley like you? I don't know. I actually really do. I don't know if I have a favorite color. I say I have a favorite color, but every time I say it, I feel like I'm lying. Mm -hmm. Like, I think my favorite color is green. Me too. Like the kiwi green, which is why I like the kiwi I'm green. I'm attracted to like yellow, green, and blue. Uh, You're yellow. You always smile when you say yellow. Yeah. You clearly have. I don't it. look good in yellow, but I love it. And I don't like. Yeah, yellow is not your color. But. Yes. Yeah. I know I love fall. Fall is great. Which then I'm always attracted to fall colors. So like for me, I'm like, yeah, like fall colors are my favorite. Can I say that? Fall colors are my favorite. <laughs> fall colors are my favorite. <laughs> do a red to do a one, two, three. I like that idea. Deb. And I'll add some journaling to that. Which I have these lines and I can also adjust it a little bit if I wanted to with the doodle sheets. If I chose to do something else in its place, which I might do actually. Yeah, I'm gonna play with that for a moment. So here are the lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in pencil first so I can kind of see what I wanna do. As far as journaling lines go and decorative goes. I'm thinking because I love the little um, outdoorsy feel that we have going on. I'm going to add an arrow here to bring in that arrow's effect. And maybe I'll change it up from this one. Or you can run it through the middle. Like sideways. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Here, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna commit and do it out of pen now. Where is my pen? I need a ballpoint. There we go. What'd you say? Nothing. Yeah, I kind of like the little. Triangles, diamonds, whatever you want to call them. Diamonds. Yeah, I feel like they match it better than or this. Or just tilted squares. This design at the top there. Let's just call them tilted squares. Tilted squares. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to change it up. I want to put an arrow to kind of add an arrow to the left side. And then I can add my lines now. We have our writing group tonight. And are you still live? Should I do floating lines or should I do lines? Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you guys doing? Wait, huh? I Wait! <laughs> Don't leave me! No! That's so mean. We love you. What did you guys whisper about over there? It's really nice outside. Oh, are you guys going for a walk? Yeah. Drive. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, cardio? Mm, no. no. <laughs> you guys just going for a drive? Yeah. Because quarantine. Because quarantine. All right. Looks Give good. me a get, another giveaway, and then you can go. Uh, <laughs> what are me and Maddie about to do? No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we didn't mention the name of our cat. Um. <clears throat> it's all good. Go for a drive. No, I will give them one more giveaway. Oh, you will give them one more giveaway? Mm hmm And... Uh, what? Color Oh, what is Grandpa's favorite color? Boom. 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 This is from Abby to all of you before she goes for a drive. <laughs> Daisy. Oh, hold on. Gotta refresh. Okay. Yes, Daisy McNeil. Why does it keep doing that? Oh, there we go. All right, go for a drive, Missy. <laughs> okay. Maddie's driving, though. They said go wave at all the cute boys that are in their homes. Actually, a lot of them are walking now. <laughs> a lot of them are walking now. <laughs> a lot of them are out running and walking. I will wave to them, though. Hi. Love you, Mom. Love you, too. Too funny. Too funny. Okay, guys. I think I'm almost done with this layout. Almost done. Should I put this arrow here? I kind of like that extra layer. I'm feeling like... I just don't know what color or pattern to do it out of. Polka dot? I could throw the polka dot back up because it's away from these other ones. And I will need to add, I don't know, either I'll journal about scenic route, which I think I will. I'll just journal about my memories of exploring with him, which I think is why I love the thought of two journaling spots. So maybe this one over here, I can do, you know, more of a short journal like date, time, et cetera, and then maybe a little bit longer over here. I still gotta erase my pencils on that, but I'm waiting until that pen dries a little before I do that. And then um, I can do, since I did white journaling over here, I'm gonna move over here and put white journaling here. I think I'm just gonna leave this one the way it is. I like that little arrow the way that it's already designed. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. <laughs> I don't think I shared these pictures with you, Emily. I'll have to share them. They're really good pictures of him. You know how hard he is to take pictures of. It's ridiculous. His parents are even harder than my grandma and grandpa. Oh, trying to get pictures of them is like trying to take a picture of a dog. So like, dogs are so hard to take pictures of. They don't hold still. <laughs> At least on a cat, you can creep up on them only when they're sleeping. My kids actually got really good, cute pictures of our cat. So, anyways. <laughs> Not that I'm comparing the two, only in picture taking. No, really, my grandparents are so, they don't cooperate at all when it comes to pictures. Not at all. I'll erase that pencil in a little bit. All right. And I'll probably put that on pop-up. And then let me see what other stickers I have here. I might utilize some more of these stickers. It's like this whole travel sheet. I just kind of bent up. Um, what do you guys think on the arrow? What should I do there? That's like the only last piece. And then maybe some little bit more have this one it says it's time for an adventure which is kind of fun again I always put it on cardstock my stickers and then cut them out okay 
And so like in this case, I don't have something over here in light blue, but that's okay. I'm thinking instead of the leaves, you know how the leaves were going up? Maybe I'll do something like that where I'm going through so many pop-ups these last couple of weeks. I had a stash, but I'm pretty much going through my stash because I use pop-ups a lot. I use them a lot. Hmm. Looking and see if there's um, other little things that I could do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna like it though. It's cute. I just need to figure out if I, I feel like it needs something here, right? It needs a layer of something. Whether that's a circle, it needs a little bit of a dimensional thing. So a circle could be cute. A little arrow pointing to the journaling. I actually like that, I think. Like it at the top, yeah. The two level dies there doesn't really work. Maybe I'll do that, like right on top of the picture. Cute. Waxaw. I could do this little sticker here. I'll show it to you guys here in a minute. Let me cut it out. This is also a really cute sticker. It's an extra added texture there. That's cute. And then I could put where we were, Waxaw Carolina. All right. Well, let me cut out the arrow, do another giveaway, and we'll finish this challenge up. And then, of course, anybody that wants to participate, make sure to check out the sketch. I'm actually, I really want to do this sketch again, even though my sketch, my layout kind of turned out differently. I would love to do something with the leaves. I'm going to have to try it. But that will be another layout, because this one didn't quite make it all the way there. So what about the arrow tail under the scenic route saying, and then the arrow pointing up towards the pictures? Like that. I feel like that makes it heavy on the left. See that and that and then like I feel like my mind just went heavy on the left. But it does definitely need a little there because otherwise I don't know. It's too bland. All right I'm gonna just pick a pattern and we're gonna go with it. Let me do Plaid, polka dot. I'm kind of feeling the plaid. I'm gonna go with the plaid. It's crazy to think of Monday. I almost thought I forgot. I was like, what day is it right now? It is Monday. We are Monday. So I'm so excited to announce the winners for all of you guys that have entered into the challenges. If not, again, up underneath the announcements, you'll find all the past challenges. And of course, you could just do them just to have something to do. Um, even though the deadline for entering them is past, feel free to still enter them well, or to do them, to create them and share them because that would be fun to see everyone's variations. Um, 
Seriously, every time I look at these pictures, they just make me smile. This is why I like to scrapbook with pictures. Man, it was so hard for me the other day to not scrapbook with pictures. It was so, so hard. What do you guys think? Yeah? I gotta add a little ink on that one. And I think I'm gonna pop this one up. <clears throat> Hey Lisa, no worries. We're just finishing up actually. And there we go. That is it. All right, so last question. And hopefully you guys were paying attention to the comments because that's where it was said. Is, um, and, and Emily, you can't, you can't enter this one, I'm sorry. Um, it was said what my father's middle name is. Uh, the first person to comment that it's actually, his middle name is literally just one alphabet. Anyone caught that? Steven, what's his middle name? Every time he gets asked, is this short for something? He's like, nope. It's just the one letter. Julie, C. Yay, good job, Julie. C is correct. Stephen C. Stephen C. James. Julie, C-E-A-Y, S-E, oh, sorry, S-E-A-Y. Is it C, C, C? Is it just say C? Or is the Y making something? Either way, congrats, Julie, congrats. <gasps> Yay, thanks. So email um, jen at qelane.com. And again, the winners are Jennifer, Mayer, Susan K, Carmina, uh, Downing, Emily Coombs, Kristen Steven, or Turner, Kristen Turner, Daisy McNeil, and Julie Sia. So, all right, congrats to all of our winners. And again, check out the challenge. You have till Friday if you want to enter the challenge and just a little bit of motive and encouragement to, yeah, pull out those pictures, pull out your scraps of paper and, your, and create something. Always when you start with something, nothing, and it turn into, into something, it's a great feeling. So thanks, guys, for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. We will um, be jumping on later to announce the winners from the challenges, so I'll see you guys soon. All right, check later. Bye guys. Elaine, oh, I was just mentioning the winners from tonight's, today's life. We'll jump on later for the winners for the challenges. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.